Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back for more. Um, and we have another video today. What is this? Thank you for your patience while the team has worked through resolving a content issue that was impacting your account. Oh, this was like EA was giving like random like TIFOs out. I swear like yesterday. But anyways, boys, um, 70 things on the triangle solution. We have a lot of cards. We've been trading a lot of different stuff. Um, the main thing that I did yesterday though was during some of the supply, I did buy a lot of the UCL cards and the golds hoping for a rebound. And God, was the rebound was like 3% back up. So the market has been pretty dead. Um, pretty, pretty dead the last couple last couple of glimpses of time. I mean, it, it really, there has not been many people buying cards yesterday or today. Um, so it's pretty slow in that regard. We had a little bit of a leak on Twitter today. I don't know what's going on with Team of the Week. Um, you know, these guys get team of the week on Tuesdays now. I swear the leakers, man, it's brutal. But apparently Lewandowski is going to be in the rule breaker promo. Um, he's, so he's not getting a team of the week because he had like three or four goals. So I was like, okay, this guy is going to be a lock for team of the week. Um, if we go ahead and we take a look at the markets, the icon index is not that low, but it's, it's holding pretty steady from last weekend. I think icons are going to go up a lot tomorrow. Um, I have a feeling that this is the weekend that a lot of people from rewards are going to pick up an icon and put it in their team. And I, and that's just kind of my thoughts. I think a lot of people are going to pick an icon up this week. So maybe you guys are interested in an icon. I don't know if you have that many coins for your team. Maybe try to get it before rewards. Um, I think I think a lot of these guys are going to start to really, really go up now. Um, in terms of the index 100, I don't know where we're at with this, but looks like it's recovering a little bit from yesterday's pack supply. We did get packs yesterday. Um, as we talked about, but honestly, the packs were not anything insane, so it didn't really kill the market. Like, I think we we didn't expect, but we expected the market to drop a little bit. I don't think it happened like we thought it would with this uh, this big market drop yesterday. We did get an Anders and Taliska card. I did put up a player review on my second channel. He's very good. Um, he's about 50k. I'm actually really considering getting this card because I think he might be usable for me this weekend. I think he's a really fun card. Um, what is so unique about this Taliska? is his long shots, man. His long shots are actually like out of his world good. So something that it was was making me think about it. Um, make it was pondering my mind, guys. Um, but anyways, I hopefully, hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about potentially um, this last team of the week and kind of doing investing with this last team of the week and talking about, you know, how, how these guys could potentially rise out of packs. Now, Team of the Weeks are always becoming a little inflated by Wednesday, Wednesday nights, because a lot of investors try to invest in them going out of packs. But I think, and I and I and I even saw some comments saying I was going to inflate the Team of the Week yesterday by talking about it. I don't agree. Um, I don't agree with that. There are a couple players that are starting to become a little inflated, like weirdly already, and it's not even like a natural rise out of packs. Like Ederson is already 77. Um, that's a little inflated. But then there's a couple that aren't, and I really, I really have a feeling, man. I was trying to get a Rashford last night for like, I think I was trying to buy him at like 595, and now he's like 605. I was trying to get a Rashford at 595 yesterday. I think Rashford's gonna be like, I, I, I even think potentially like 700 tomorrow. I think he's gonna go up a lot. Um, that is my prediction. I think Rashford is gonna fly to the moon. I just think that he's such a popular player um, that he's gonna rock it, man. I think that so many people have this guy on their team. So I know he is very expensive. We talked about it yesterday, but man, I think he's going to go up a lot. So that's just for me, one that I was, I've been interested in, but I'll have to try to get one a little bit lower than what he is right now. I think for me currently, like 604 is a lot. We talked about that. It's a lot, man. 604 is a lot of coins. Um, not something I'm too interested. In. What I want to do with you guys is I want to check. I want to take a look at my, uh, my Hunter and my, my shadows, man, because these guys are so easy to trade, man. So yesterday, guys, Hunters were 1.6, and these guys lazy still at 2.7 on the weekend. So if you're looking for an easy way to make coins, you won't see me doing it a ton, but a really efficient way to do to make coins, like even Shadows, I'm not going to be able to win these, but these guys were like 3.9 on the weekend, and now they're 2.8. So this could be something that if you're a guy with a low budget, this could be really good for you guys, man, like trying to, trying to start writing down trends that you're seeing with these chem styles. I think Anchors were 1.3. And if you can write that on a notepad, because if you look at like Footprint or something, they're not going to tell you guys. Uh, they will not tell you guys what, you know, there's no graph on Footprint for what Shadows or Hunters were this last weekend. But I feel like if you guys can start to identify um, like trends with it, it, it could actually become really helpful for you guys in the long run. I think it's a super interesting trend that uh, that I'm I'm looking at. Like, wow, 
you know, there's definitely there's definitely movement with that. Um, so maybe if you're interested in that, you're interested. Um, I think it's super cool. People were saying uh, in the leaks today that Joe Gomez is going to get a team of the week. That card with Kyle Walker would just be out of this world, man. If Joe Gomez does get um, Joe Gomez does get a team of the week, that card is going to be out of this world. But I think I would look more at Kyle Walker uh, if he drops because I think he would drop if Gomez got a team of the week. This guy has gone off like up so much though, man. He hit 550 last night. He's 530 again, but. We gotta we gotta watch and see if there's any panic with this Kyle Walker uh, due to that Joe Gomez. That's a very interesting uh, interesting little trend there. Um, this week for rewards, guys, rewards are tomorrow. I expect the market to go up a lot with uh, meta cards. With anything like that, I, I am expecting a really large market rise tomorrow. Um, we are gonna have uh, three player picks tomorrow and a team of the week pack and a an 100k pack. And then from rivals, unfortunately, guys. I'm getting penalized for playing Weekend League, boys. I, I'm not even going to get Rank 3 rewards <laughs> for playing Weekend League. I'm literally not even going to get Rank 3. I'm going to get tomorrow from Division Rivals, Megas and Rare Electrums. I don't know, man. This system is so broken. Because, like, for me, I'm not playing my, I'm not playing these amount of Rivals games on Thursday, dude. It's ridiculous. Um, it's literally ridiculous, EA. I don't know what these guys at EA thought with this being a good idea for anybody, but I'm not doing it, bro. I'm not falling for the trap. I'm not playing 30 games of Rivals on Thursdays. I refuse, man. I absolutely refuse, man. It's a joke, all right? It's an absolute joke for me, EA, man. I can't believe these people making us suffer, all right? EA, what are you doing, man? What are you, EA, what are you doing? All right, also, something really interesting last night as I was trading, I saw this Courtois. He went all the way up to 130 last night, man. Such a crazy rise. And now he's like 118, but he went to 130. So the trends in some of these past team of the weeks has been nuts. We're going to pick that up. Can we get that? I like that a lot. 114, that's very low. He went up to 130, man, last night. Now, I don't know if that was people investing. And I think what I'm, what I'm really looking at tonight to see is if a lot of people try to inflate past team of the week. Because what I'm going to do today, I'm going to trade a lot with past team of the weeks today. And basically what I will do is if... These guys get inflated. I'm selling all these past team of the weeks. I don't care. Like if I start to see tonight that a bunch of these guys are up because investors are trying to put them up, I'm getting out. That's the thing. Always, you guys can always do that as well with rewards. If somebody's getting too inflated. You can always tell and you can always get out. All right, you can always get out. That's always like a big thing you could do. Now this Howland is 165 now. This Howland is weird though. I feel like this Howland has lost a lot of hype. I don't know if that's just me. But I feel like this Howland used to have a lot more hype than he has now. I think he's, I think he's, I think he's declining in terms of, I wouldn't say usability, but I would say in terms of people actually really messing with him, man. I don't know. I feel like this Howland does not have the same juice that he had week one or week two. I think also like identifying trends with early team of the weeks is something really easy that you guys can do. Uh, this Ansu Fati last night was like 18.5. I just saw him on flipping at 16, but he's not 16. But I think. I think for a lot of the lower budget guys, there are a lot of trends that you guys can do with these lower tier informs. You just got to learn the way that they fluctuate because I think there's a real, I think there's a real possibility there, real potential rather for you guys to make some really good coins with those ones, man. I think they do trend really nicely. Um, we have a lot of stuff expired here. So we, we bought like six or seven Edersons at 70. Uh, as I said, if he gets too inflated, we're going to get rid of him. Um, I have no problems getting rid of him. And reminder to Nick to never buy these blue UCL cards again because I literally can't sell them. They do not sell. I swear they do not sell. They're very, very challenging to sell, man. I cannot get I really can't get these guys to sell much. Um so I'm gonna think I'm gonna think twice before I do that next time with any kind of drop or anything in the market. I'm gonna think twice about buying these UCL ones because I feel like their rebound is just way less. It's not it's not new it's not it's not that good. The rebound is just not that good with some of these UCLs. So I'm going to watch out. And yeah, let's see Let's see what happens, man. We're also going to get Team 2 on Friday, guys, of Rule Breakers. That will be coming out this Friday. So we'll get a, a little glimpse of another another team in packs. Um, I hope it's really good again. And I think with the rises from... I think with the rises from um, this Rule Breakers team, I expect out of packs, I think a couple will rise. I think this Andre is going to rise. I think Kamara's going to rise, but I think there's a shot that they go lower tomorrow. I don't know if a ton of people are going to buy them up tomorrow. It will be an interesting one. It all depends on how much they get sold tonight, and it all depends on the pack weight. I think the pack weight with EA 
is really like always changing. So I think it's always impossible to know when something's going to rise or drop because I think the pack weight with EA changes a ton. So it's impossible to really know. So we'll have to figure out tomorrow. We'll have to see the supply. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Appreciate you guys. See you guys soon. Peace out.